Hello friends and officially welcome to this video. We just got back home from our nature walk and it was so beautiful. The weather is so nice. I'm so excited that we actually have fall weather now. Now it's time to start cooking dinner so I'm really excited because this is one of my favorite parts of my day is cooking. But I actually have this like entire list of things that I want to get done before the fall season is over. And one of the things that I wanted to do was try a new soup recipe. So I've been looking all over the internet for really good soup recipes that caught my eye and I found a recipe for for a creamy butternut squash soup. I have no idea what butternut squash tastes like. I have no idea how to cook it, but there she is. I'm really excited because I love making new recipes and this recipe just screams fall to me. It like screams comfort and cozy and everything fall. I picked this guy up at the market the other day. Never held one of these before in my life. It's as big as my head. Um, so I'm excited to cook this because I don't even know the first step. So join me on this butternut squash journey. So the soup is ready. It smells amazing. It's this like beautiful yellow orangey color. I've never cooked with rosemary or sage before or even ginger for that fact and butternut squash. So this recipe was like a complete shot in the dark but it smells amazing so I'm so excited to try it. That is nothing like I've ever tasted before. So, so good, so creamy, so warm, so comforting, which is exactly what I thought it would be. The rosemary and the ginger and the sage, wow. It's so good. This is like fall in a bowl. This looks delicious. Cheers. That's good. Definitely tastes like fall. Anything with like cinnamon and alcohol really just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I have bad memories with Fireball. But this right here tastes crisp. Tastes like a fresh apple was just squeezed into this. This is definitely not something I would drink year round. It's definitely a fall drink for me, but I like it. I recommend, try it out.
really like my table, don't you? I was just uh, getting to know my daughter. You know, I am traveling with a friend. She's 16. Bye. Drive safe. I believe that you tell me to. Hey! Oh, that's in Lady. Tell your shoe now. Yeah, don't, don't worry, I'll wait. Hi, Drone. Remember how I mentioned I had a fall bucket list of things I wanted to do before the season was over? Well, today I crossed two of those things off my list. Lately, I've been ending each night by watching a movie or a show off of my Halloween slash fall watch list, and needless to say, I have been watching a lot of scary movies. Sometimes you just need a break from all the blood and gore, so tonight I decided to go for a wholesome fall movie. I made some popcorn, dimmed the lights, and headed to Netflix to watch Twilight. I personally love the Twilight Saga because I grew up watching these movies and it has a lot of nostalgia for me. One of the first movies my fiance and I actually saw together was New Moon when we were both in middle school, so it definitely has good memories attached to it. I'm not too crazy about this first movie because it is pretty cringe, like let's not lie here, <laughs> and it is kind of one of the more boring movies in my opinion, but if we're going to watch them all, we had to start from the beginning, so we ate our popcorn, cracked a few jokes in between, and enjoyed the rest of our night in. And I would say overall, it was a really good day. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, I love you guys very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!